Let's just talk about this case in general terms. I think most people hear sort of the basics of it and are, are pretty shocked by it. How would you describe this crime? I, I think shocking is, is the perfect way to describe it. This is a case that there's so many things about it that just, I think, shocked every one of us that was involved with it. Um, you have uh, you know, such a, a young victim who had so much ahead of her in life. Um, she was, I think, taken advantage of by people she should have trusted or she trusted. And I think that's what just gets you so much more about this case. And it, it's just absolutely, the nature of the crime is just horrendous. I, I struggle to think of a crime that's just really more shocking that we've recently looked at. Is there any way to explain this? That's what people keep asking. Why did this happen? I, you know, that's something I think you'd have to ask the people involved. They haven't told us. Uh, you know, the suspects in this case, they've never really come out and explained why. You know, we can make a lot of assumptions, but I think that's, that's probably the biggest thing we're all left with is just trying to understand how something so just senseless and just horrendous could happen. That was a search that was done with the permission of the homeowners, which certainly limits our ability to look everywhere that we would want to look. Um, you know, we, we went everywhere we can, um, but there's certain limitations when somebody gives you permission to search their home. We can't destroy property. Um, we obviously can't, you know, we can't open anything. If they say, hey, not there, you can't do that. And I don't think it's reasonable for them, to, uh, for a homeowner to allow us to start opening um, and actually destroying property to search inside of it. So in that initial search that the homeowner consented to, the missing persons detectives did look at the mattress, but Absolutely. they didn't find Mary's body. Absolutely. So they looked, you know, under the mattress, um, along with the homeowners, there was nothing that was apparent at that time. Um, and this is really at this time, the second time someone has searched the house. So the family's been in the home. We've now been in the home. We didn't see anything that was apparent. And, you know, unfortunately, we were limited to what we could search, uh, like we discussed. Um, How did they miss finding Mary's body, though? Mary was very well concealed. Um, and I think some of that's reflected in the court record. Uh, when we ultimately went in with a search warrant, it wasn't even immediately apparent to us at that time until we began, you know, looking a little bit more closely at things, you know, search, searching things and looking to an extent that we wouldn't be able to do with the homeowner's permission. Um, we ultimately had to open up uh, the mattress in order to find her. You actually had to physically open up the she mattress. She was fully concealed inside of the mattress. Yes, ma'am. I think most people think, though, a body weighs a certain amount, so you lift a mattress and there'd be something unusual about it. Sure. It's just, you know, the way everything played out, it wasn't obvious. And I can tell you that even my folks, when they went back with the search, with the search warrant, I mean, they were shocked at how well she was concealed. Wow. What does that tell you, then, about... I think there's a lot of thought that went into this um, as far as how to hide her and try to, to conceal what their crime was. Um, I think that they also were willing to speak with, with you know, us and with family, um, which is fairly unusual for, for people who have done something that's you know, just so horrific. Not just speak with, they actually consented to a search and sort of stood there. Sure. Uh, what does that say about someone's the, mindset? They were out asking for help in finding her to people in the neighborhoods. So um, it just, it, they just didn't, it don't seem to care. I don't, I don't know how you would live with that and, and do that um, and go about um, talking to the family and trying to be supportive knowing the truth the entire time. They were putting on a show. Absolutely.